about 24 hours later back down in the basement see a wet spot right here but I know what's causing that I uh, think someone just got out of the tub or something it's been doing that for a little while I just keep forgetting about it and not doing the work on it but if you look upon there up there that's where it's coming from the uh, tub there is leaking uh, around the ring there so I'll have to uh, I think what I'm gonna do this time though instead of using plumbers putty like I have been I think what we're gonna do is uh, put some uh, silicone up in there instead use a hundred percent silicone on it instead of uh, uh, that plumber's putty because that plumber's putty has not done me any bit of good so um, anyway yeah it's been doing it for a while uh, try to block the light there for you so that you can see that PEX pipe where it's got a little bit of hard water on the exterior um, but yeah light bulb right there so uh, anyway um, but we'll have to take a look at that uh, anyhow um, yeah so that's what's caused that otherwise the basement is pretty dry I mean you can tell that it was wet I mean that uh, 2 by 6 over here isn't uh, as wet as it was last night um, but overall you can see that there is uh, a bunch of water um, that uh, was down here well of course it was 24 hours ago <laughs> um, anyway uh, we'll come on over here there's a lot of dirt on the floor over here which like I was saying yesterday is because of the uh, uh, mud that was created by the erosion of the hillside I would call it you'll understand a little bit more when I get behind that uh, uh, plywood there um, again I'm not gonna do that and um, I don't know when I'm gonna get myself motivated enough to get behind there I mean I, I just don't really feel like doing that just yet um, but when I do I'll bring you along but uh, I figured I'd give you a short uh, update like I said I would um, but anyway uh, yeah it, it's drying I mean you can see on some of these boxes that they're still a little bit wet but uh, you know nothing I can do about that um, it's just gonna have to just dry um, there's uh, um, nothing that anybody could do about that other than just let it go hopefully it doesn't uh, uh, mold down here and it uh, you definitely have a, a wet smell when you uh, come in the house especially last night um, wet dirt kind of smell um well of course that's what it was down here and you I can smell it right here right now but uh, it's not as much upstairs as it was uh, last night but uh, anyway thought I'd just give you guys a good old update about a five minute update and uh, you know show what uh, what has happened and and between last night and now um anyway all right we'll uh we'll uh let 
this go and dry more and uh then we'll uh we'll see about uh doing that uh up here in behind this uh plywood um i'm also another reason why i'm not doing it so soon is because i know that that's going to be muddier than hell behind that uh plywood and i i'm gonna let it dry as well as i can before i go back there because i'm i mean it's gonna be really muddy um i don't know how bad it is behind there I, I for all i know there could be a good old wall of mud right right behind here well oh yeah you can hear it get solid down here but then not so much up here um but uh yeah we'll have to uh address that when we get there um all right you guys have a nice nice one uh i'll, I'll uh bring you back when i got more on this uh particular situation and uh we'll kind of i guess i'll grab my my drink and i gotta go let the dog in i don't know if you can hear that I can hear him barking in the background saying let me in anyway all right enough of that um like i said i'll just bring you back when uh, that time comes we'll see ya bye